All right guys, so today's video is going to be a list of my top five truly wireless earbuds with active noise canceling. I'm also gonna throw in two honorable mentions, but I wanted to make this list because this seems to be a very popular feature coming out on a lot of the new earbuds, and you guys seem to be very interested. Now these are not full on reviews. If you are interested in checking out any of the original reviews, or if you're interested in purchasing or checking out any more info, all of that will be in the description below. Now let's go ahead and start with the two honorable mentions. Now the first one I wanna bring up is the Amazon Echo Buds. Now the reason they're not on the list is because they don't actually have active noise cancellation, they have active noise reduction. So they work with Bose to be able to offer this feature and it does a damn good job of blocking out your outside surroundings. But these couldn't be put on the list because they technically don't have noise canceling, but you can pick these up for around 129 bucks. Now the other one that I wanted to mention is the Clear Ally Plus. These retail for 200 bucks. The noise canceling is very solid and the sound is really impressive. But the reason they don't make it on the list is because there's some control quirks that I have some issues with that can be fixed in firmware updates, but for right now it's just gonna be left as an honorable mention. So now let's start with number five. Number five on the list is the Edifier TWS NB. Now this is a pair that retails for 119 bucks. It's the lowest priced out of the, all the other ones on the list, but it does offer some very nice features and some very nice noise canceling for the price. Now these have 13 millimeter drivers. They are using Bluetooth 5.0 and they have aptX playback. Now, as far as the IP rating, these are rated at IPX4, but none of the other earbuds on the list go beyond IPX4. Now, as far as what you're getting in the box, they include plenty of silicone ear tips, they include wing tips, and they also include foam tips as well. So you have a bunch of different options to be able to find the right fit for you. Now, as far as the battery life goes, it kind of has like a wide range. If you're gonna use them with the active noise canceling turned on, you're only gonna get around five hours of use on the earbuds by themselves, where on the case you're going to get around 22 hours. But if you decide to use these with the noise canceling turned off, you're gonna get around 11 hours on the earbud with around 33 hours total using the case. So there's a huge difference between using the noise canceling on or using it turned off. Now, as far as the button controls, these actually have the physical buttons um, and it controls everything but the volume. Now that is one thing I don't like when the earbuds don't have volume control um, because I like to control everything on the earbuds. These also have an ambient mode, which does a pretty decent job of picking up your surroundings. That way you don't have to take your earbuds out to be able to hear some of the things around you. Now, as far as the noise canceling itself goes, I would say this is blocking out around 60%. So it's not very strong compared to some of the other ones on the list, but it still will block out some of the lower hums, um, a lot of engine noise and stuff like that, but you still will be able to hear some of the things around you. Now the overall sound of these are actually pretty nice. Uh, the sound itself is very warm. Now if you do turn the volume all the way up, the treble tends to get a little bit brighter, which you will find yourself doing because I felt like at times I wanted the volume to get a little bit louder. Now they do get plenty loud, but again, you will find yourself turning these up and the treble will just start to get brighter the more that you do that. But still, overall, this is a very warm sounding earbud with plenty of punch in the low end and is an excellent pickup for around 119 bucks. Now number four on the list is the Apple AirPods Pro. Now normally it's kind of hard for me to find value in a pair of truly wireless earbuds that's $250. But if you're in Apple's ecosystem, the AirPods work very well with all of their devices. And the AirPod Pros is actually much better than the regular AirPods, um, mainly because they added the silicone ear tips, which gives you a very good seal. And inside the box, they are including the small, medium, and large. So you'll be able to find a good fit there. Now the AirPods themselves don't actually have an official IP rating because that's not something that Apple releases, but it does say that it is water and sweat resistant. So I would lean towards these being IPX4 rated, but again, it's not on the box, it's not on their website, so I can't really say. 
Now, as far as the battery life on these, um, on the earbuds themselves, you're going to get around four and a half hours. And with the case, you're gonna get around 24, which is gonna be fine for most people, but the battery life on the earbuds themselves is still on the lower end. Now, as far as the controls, the AirPod Pros are actually using squeeze control. You basically squeeze the stem and you can control everything but volume control. Now, this is nothing new because the other AirPods don't have volume control and it's just something that Apple hasn't allowed their devices to do. And that's something that I would like to see fixed in a later update. Another thing that they do offer is they have sensors so that if you take them out of your ear, it will automatically pause. And when you put them back in your ear, it will automatically resume back to what you were listening to. Now, this is a feature that I find that I really enjoy. Um, and on top of that, the noise canceling on the AirPod Pros are very, very good. Um, they block out around 80% and the mics picking up the ambient sounds when you put them in the ambient mode or transparency mode is doing an excellent job as well. But the microphones on the AirPods are always some of the best you're gonna find. And as far as the overall sound, again, because of the silicone ear tips, it's giving you a better bass response. Actually, these have quite a bit of bass. It's just a more overall pleasing sound compared to the AirPod products of the past. And that's what puts the AirPods Pro at number four. All right, so number three on the list is the Libratone Track Air Plus. This is a pair that comes in at $199, has a very futuristic look to it, and it has some really impressive features. They do have Bluetooth 5.0, but they're using the Qualcomm 5121 chip, which allows you to have aptX and AAC playback. It also allows you to have one of the most stable connections out of all the other truly wireless earbuds as well. Now, as far as the IP rating, they are rated at IPX4, and the battery life on these are very impressive. The earbuds themselves, you're going to get around six hours, where with the case, you're going to get around 24. Now, another huge bonus here is the case is actually a Qi wireless charging case. Forgot to mention that the AirPods Pro also works on a wireless charger, so that is another huge bonus. Now, the controls on these are touch controls, and they control everything but the volume, but if you're using these on an iOS device, it actually controls the volume. This is a feature that I wish just worked on all devices, and maybe again is something they can fix in a later update. Now these also have the sensors that will pause your music when you take them out of your ears and then resume your music when you put them back in. And again, this is a feature that I would like to see on all other truly wireless earbuds. Now, as far as the noise canceling goes, these are very solid. I would put them right there with the AirPod Pros where they block out around 80%. And I also think that the ambient mode does a very good job on these as well. I think if you're gonna have earbuds that have noise canceling, I think transparency or ambient mode should be automatic. But where these stand out the most is their sound. This is one of the most dynamic sounding earbuds on the list. Uh, the bass is very nice and punchy, but still is very clean, where the treble is nice and sharp, uh, in a sense where you can hear all the details, and then the mids sound fantastic, where the vocalist sounds like they're singing right there in front of you. So for $200, that's what puts the Libertone Track Air Plus in at number three. So now let's move to number two. And number two could easily be number one, but there is just one thing that holds it back from being number one. But number two on the list is the One More True Wireless ANC. Now these come in at $200, but if you go to their website and buy them and use the code GAMESKI, you can save 20%. So you can actually pick these up for $160, even though right now on their website, it says they're on back order and will be shipping again in March. But what makes these special is these are using hybrid dual drivers. So you have a dynamic driver and then you have a balanced armature driver, which is separating these frequencies so that you can get the most out of your bass and the most out of your treble without it sounding congested. Now, some of the other features is these also have Bluetooth 5.0 and they're also utilizing aptX and AAC playback. Now, as far as the battery life on these, you're going to get five hours individually on the earbuds with around 20 hours total using the case. Now, if you do happen to pick these up and they're dead, a quick 15 minute charge will get you two hours of use. 
And another bonus about these is the case is also a Qi wireless charging case. So again, this is one that you can come in and sit on a wireless charger and it'll just start charging. Now, as far as the controls, you actually get touch controls and button controls and they control everything. So the actual button control is your play, pause, skip, and your volume, where the touch controls is utilizing the two different levels of noise canceling and then your transparency mode and then your ability to just turn the noise canceling off. And the noise canceling is where it gets interesting because the noise canceling can block up to around 80%, I would say, but the noise canceling affects the music. And this is what keeps these from being number one on the list because with the noise canceling off, this is easily the best sounding truly wireless earbud on this list. But with the noise canceling on, it starts to boost your bass a little bit and sometimes affects it too much to where it's just not as enjoyable with the noise canceling turned off. So as great as these sound and as great as the noise canceling is, it just can't be number one simply because of that. And hopefully again, this is something that can be fixed in an update. But the one more true wireless ANC come in at number two. So number one on the list has been number one for quite a while. And again, the one more almost just pushed them out. And I still find myself reaching for the one more quite a bit, but the Sony WF 1000 X M threes are easily my number one pick. Now this pair comes in at $230, so it is more than some of the other ones, but still comes in under the AirPods Pro. But hands down, these offer some of the best noise canceling where they're blocking out around 85, maybe 90%, but I would lean more towards 85 and still offers incredibly good sound quality. Now, the one thing that is confusing with this being a Sony product, um, these don't have LDAC playback, but it does upscale your audio to 24 bit and it does a really good job of just having a very nice clean sound. Another thing is these don't have an IP rating at all either. So spending $230 and not knowing how close you can get to water with splashes and stuff like that, that's one thing to be a little hesitant about. Um, outside of that, uh, the battery life, you're going to get around six hours with the noise canceling on and around eight hours with the noise canceling off. Now with the charging case, you're going to get in around an additional 18 hours. And then inside the box, they are giving you small, medium and large silicone ear tips and small, medium and large foam ear tips. So if you prefer foam over silicone, at least you have both options right out of the box. What makes these the best overall solid performer, even though some of these other ones have apps as well, the app for the Sony ones give you the best control and give you the most functionality as far as your noise canceling goes, the ambient mode, and even the sound because the EQ settings that are built into the app actually do a great job of changing the sound in the way that you want them. Some of the other ones don't even seem like they're really doing much, but the Sony app is very solid and it's the same app that they use on the very popular over the ear version as well. So what makes the Sony the best comes down to the sound. The sound is the most open sounding out of them all. Um, there's a lot of distance with the bass while still having a lot of punch. It doesn't feel like it's just being jammed into your ear. It just feels like you're in a larger environment. It has a better, just natural, pleasing sound to it. And when you can block out that much of your surrounding, it feels like you just have your own personal listening experience, which tops all of the others. And that's what puts the Sony WF 1000 X M threes at the top of the list. But guys, that's my video on the top five truly wireless earbuds with active noise canceling. Again, this is probably going to change along and along as there are more earbuds coming out with active noise canceling. So I will try to keep you updated as quickly as possible. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.